Miss Lee the Science Queen. Miss Lee the Science Queen. Inertia is a property of matter. Miss Lee. Miss Lee. Miss Lee, the science queen. Episode 2 Contact and Non Contact Forces. With help from my awesome grade 3 scientist friends. So, what is a contact force? It's a force produced by direct contact of objects. Can you think of any examples? Kicking a ball? Pushing a shopping cart? What other examples can you think of? Here's an example of a toy. Look how we're pushing, pulling, and twisting, and turning. Watch how we need to touch the knobs in order to affect their motion. Another example of a contact force is frictional force. Friction is the resistance of motion when one object rubs against another. Rub your hands together, just like this. This is friction. Two objects are rubbing against each other. Friction acts in an opposite direction to movement. This is an example of sliding friction. Friction is important. It helps to keep us safe. Frictional force? Here are some other examples of friction in daily life. Walking, running, applying the brakes on a car, and rubbing your hands together to stay warm. It's experiment time! We are going to look at rolling friction. How do you think the surface affects rolling friction? We will look at four different examples. Which surface will cause the most friction? And which surface will cause the least friction? A squash court. Textured oven mitt, a fluffy carpet, and a smooth table. Do you have your prediction? What do you think will happen? And remember it's okay if you don't know for sure. It's a guess. Also, I'm going to try my best to roll the ball at the same speed on each surface in order to make the experiment fair. Here we go! What did you observe? You might have observed that the rough or more textured surfaces caused more friction as compared to the smoother surfaces, which caused less friction. Let's try another experiment. Using what you now know about the surface and friction, make a prediction about how far my little blue car will go. Will it go farther on the carpet? Or on the table? Let's find out!
Was your prediction correct? Recap. Contact force is produced by direct contact of objects. Friction is an example of a contact force. Friction acts in an opposite direction to movement. And from our rolling friction experiment, we learned that rougher surfaces tend to create more friction as compared to smoother surfaces. Now let's talk about non-contact force. A non-contact force acts on an object without coming physically in contact with it. It's the opposite of contact force. One example of a non-contact force is... Magnetic force. Magnets can affect the motion of other objects without actually touching them. Watch how one of the magnets moves the other without coming into direct physical contact. These magnets are repelling each other. This time, they are attracting each other. How does this work? Magnets give off an external magnetic field. Here is a picture of a bar magnet and its magnetic fields. Magnets attract objects like iron, steel, nickel, and cobalt. Whoa, this magnet has picked up a paperclip, which is made out of steel wire. Magnets also have a North Pole and a South Pole. Can you find the North Pole, N, and the South Pole, S, on this magnet? Notice how the North Pole and the South Pole attract each other. Remember that opposite poles attract and the same poles repel. A non-contact force is a force that acts on an object without coming physically in contact with it. Here's a picture of a magnet being pushed without any physical contact. Magnetic force is an example of a non-contact force. Remember that opposites attract and same poles repel. Great job! Now you know a little bit more about contact and non-contact forces. Thanks for watching! Mm, yes, the sound is quite interesting. I wonder what would happen if I did one of the rolling friction experiments in here. Hmm, or out here. Now this is a very cool surface. See you next time on... Miss Lee the Science Queen.